knows what I'm to feed them on? There's nothing out there to be had. Oh well. The Lord tempers the wind to the shorn lamb. He understands. He knows this is just the sprat to catch the mackerel. Nothing makes you hungrier or more tired than grief. When my sister died, God rest her soul, I ate my way through four platefuls of sandwiches at one sitting and slept round the clock. Did it make you feel better? Not much, but it passed the time. Perhaps Thomas has seen and done more than is good for him. He's not a lady's man. Well, isn't it a blessed relief? Daisy, Thomas is a troubled soul. I don't know what you mean, Mrs. Patmore. What are you going to say? The shake. Ooh, I like that Rudolph Valentino. Ooh. He makes me shiver all over. What a very disturbing thought. I'm not sure I can let him see me as I am now. Perhaps you can keep the lights off. That is not helpful, Mrs. Patmore. Mr. Carson, all women need someone to show a bit of interest every now and then. Preferably in a manner that's not entirely proper. I hope you will allow me the honour of squiring you through the day. <laughs> no man's wanted to squire me since the Golden Jubilee. <laughs> Even then, he expected me to buy the drinks. <sighs> you couldn't be harder on those potatoes if you wanted them to confess to spying. Daisy, what's happened to you? I said you could go for a drink of water, not a trip up the Nile. Mrs. Patmore, we can do this. Oh, can you? With Ivy slapping it out like a train seal. What's wrong with you? You're always dozy, but tonight you'd make Sleeping Beauty look alert. Oh, my Lord, listen to that. It's like the cry of a banshee. Mr. Carson's telephone is ringing. But isn't someone going to answer it? I wouldn't touch that thing with a ten-foot pole. How would you operate it? With a pedal under my foot. Well, I don't think it has any business in the servants' hall. But there's no socket in her room. But she could take it over to the laundry. Or better still, chuck it out altogether. It gives me the greatest pleasure and satisfaction to come here today with the Queen for the purpose of opening the British Empire Exhibition. I suppose he can't hear us. No, it doesn't work like that. Mrs. Patmore, is there any aspect of the present day that you can accept without resistance? Well, my lady, I wouldn't mind getting rid of my corset.